A very good morning to all of you boys. Hope you are doing great today. Guys, today we have a new selection. We have a new title, new story. Okay, so listen up and pay your attention. Okay, so our solution title is The Hornet Todd Prince. The Hornet Todd Prince. This is the title of our selection or this week. This story has written by Jackie Mims Hopkins, illustrated by Michael Austin. Written by Jackie Mims Hopkins, illustrated by Michael Austin. Genre, trickster tales tell about animals who outsmart bigger and stronger creatures. <clears throat> so genre of this story is trickster tales. What a trickster tale tells about animals who outsmart bigger and stronger creatures. Question of the week. What can we discover in the landscape of the Southwest? What can we discover in the landscape of the Southwest? Okay, so first of all, guys, let's meet the author. Knowing about the author of the story is very important to know why did the author like decide to write a story or to write a selection. So first of all, what you have to do it after knowing the title of the story that you have to meet the author and to know about the author. Okay, why he or she has written these kind of selections. What is his attitude or what was that time his attitude or her attitude. Okay, about his or her ideas and like thoughts and the school of writing. Okay. Okay, so we have Mrs. Jackie Mims Hopkins. So let's listen to the reader. Open page 131, guys. Page 131, a new reading street park. And pay your attention for the reader. Pay your attention and listen to the reader, please, boys. Three, four. Envision it. Words to... Tall and Michael Austin. Meet the author and the illustrator, Jackie Mims Hopkins and Michael Austin. Jackie Mims Hopkins wasn't much of a reader as a young girl. I didn't enjoy reading any book of length. I couldn't sit still long enough to read. Now she is an author and a librarian. Ms. Hopkins got the idea for the Horned Toad Prince when she was researching horned toads for another book. I realized there weren't many stories about them. I decided it was time to write a story about the little critters, she says. I started thinking about which fairy tale could be used with a horned toad as the main character. The Frog Prince was a perfect match. Michael Austin created the art for this story. The Horned Toad Prince stood out to me right away because of its personality and energy, he says. As an artist, Mr. Austin has always had a strange point of view. He enjoys drawing because it gives him a chance to draw things my own way, strange or not. Here are other books by Jackie Mims Hopkins. Okay, guys, so, so this is about Jackie Mims Hopkin. Jackie Mims Hopkin. This woman at the beginning of her life, 
she wouldn't, you know, she wouldn't write any stories. She wouldn't think that um, she uh, like um, let's see, it could be like a writer or a librarian one one day. So sometimes you don't have like an idea about what's about your future and you didn't decide for that. But Allah is well there just to decide what you have to be in this like world just to help the others, just to do your task or your duty or your job okay, in the life. So Jackie Mims Hopkins wasn't much for a reader. She wasn't read as much as the others. As a young girl, I didn't. She's telling that. She's saying that I didn't enjoy reading any book of length. I couldn't sit still long enough time just to read. She's saying that she couldn't like sit for a while just to read a book or to read. But now she is an author and a librarian. Okay, so so she decided to write this story. When you ask yourself, what did the reason? What did the reason beyond writing this story? The Hornet Toddy Prince, why this lady has written this story. When you ask yourself this question, so you must read this part of the author's biography. So Ms. Hopkins got the idea for the Hornet Toddy Prince when she was researching Hornet Todds for another book. I, she's saying that I realize there weren't many stories about them. I decided it was time to write a story about the little critters. She says that I started, she's saying, I started thinking about which fairy tale could use, could be used with the Hornet Todd as the main character, the Frog Prince, was a perfect match. So this is about the life of the um, Jackie Mims Hopkins and why did she write the story of the Hornet Todd and what was about her life um, uh, like in the beginning and did she love or like reading stories um, uh, did she take like a long time or uh, was she fond of like reading stories and reading uh, at all so she wasn't, but at the end, she became a librarian and an author, okay? So this is, guys, about Jackie Mims Hopkins, okay? Next question of the week. We have a question of the week for this selection, and we want to answer this selection. So the question of the week for this selection, what can we discover in the landscape of the Southwest? What can we discover in the landscape of the Southwest? Let's get the answer of this question. What can we discover there? We can discover landscape, desert, plain, range, visa, frontier. We can discover activities, rodeo, roping, ride horses. We can discover features. We can discover cacti. We can discover sagebrush, grassland. Corral, we can discover animals, horses, prairie dogs, we can discover dangers, prairie storm, flooded creeks, rattlesnakes, all of that we can discover. It. So what when I ask you that question, what we can discover in the landscape of the Southwest, so you have many different examples about landscape, about activities, about features, about animals, about dangers. So you have these five branches. Okay, um, below the the answer of the question. Okay, so these five branches, any branch of them that can um, uh, can guide you to the discoveries of uh, of the landscape in the south west. Okay, so landscape activities, features, animals, and dangers. Okay, what are the main elements of a story? This is an important question, guys. We used to ask it when we study any new like selection. So we have to like um, not skip this point. We have to know it. 
So when, you have to ask yourself, what are main elements of the story? If I want to read the story, so I have to know the main elements of this story. I have to study them every time, every selection. Just I'm trying to remind you with them, guys, to not be uh, forgotten anymore. So plot, characters, setting, conflict, theme. Plot, that means you tell me what happened in the story, the summary of the story, you tell me in a brief. Okay, characters who was involved in the story, how many characters are there in the story, setting, where and when the story took a place. So that means you tell me about the time and you tell me about the place of the story. Conflict, that means you tell me about the problems which like uh, were struggled in, in the story. And theme, you tell me what lesson did you learn from the story. What you learn? What is the value of the story? So these five elements are important, guys. When you read any selection, you must tell me about the plot, characters. You must make your own plot after reading the selection, after knowing about the selection, after understanding the events and incidents happen in the selection. So you have to draw your own plot. Characters, you have to know each character um, acted in the story. You have to know about the setting, about the time, and about the place of the story that took place. You have to know about the conflict, the problems happen in the story. You have to know the theme of the story, why uh, or what is the lesson that you learn from the story, what is the main idea of the story, okay? Okay, next, let's read. This page, page 115, guys, try to open this page and you're reading a story book, okay? Page 115, open this page, please. So this page is very important and we discussed about this page many times. And what I reminded, I, uh, I said about this page, if you want to know the meaning of the new vocabularies, the meaning of, uh, or guessing the meanings of the new vocabularies, so you have to read this page. If you want to write a story by using this, these words, so you can. If you want to guess the meanings according to this short story, so you can. So the use of this page just to know the meanings of the new vocabularies of the story. You have around seven vocabularies, so each word has its own meaning. But according to this short story, you can guess the meaning by your own self. Okay, and you can make sentences by using these new vocabularies. So, right now, let's listen to the reader and pay your attention, boys. Page 115. Page 115. Listen to the reader. Tall Paul. Tall Paul was a cowboy who lived on the plains not so long ago. He was not just any cowboy, though. He was so long-legged he could cross a mile of prairie in just one step. And he was so big and strong he lassoed and caught a whole herd of cattle with a single toss of his rope. Tall Paul did not eat any small meals. No, he had a mighty big appetite. He ate a mountain of flapjacks for breakfast. One time, out on the range, he got so thirsty he drank a river. The dry riverbed just lay there gasping for water. Tall Paul felt bad about that, so he struck a bargain with the sky. The sky would bring a flood of rain. In return, the sky asked this favor. I will help you if you do me this service. My servant, Wind, can't blow the clouds over that mountain there. I need you to flatten it a little for me. Tall Paul said to the mountain, Now don't be offended. I'll just take a little off the top. The mountain shrieked and screamed, but the deed was done. 
Tall Paul jumped on that mountain and turned it into a nice little mesa. In an instant, the rains began to fall. Okay, guys. So this is about the new vocabularies of you want. So if you want, guys, to read about these vocabularies, so and you want to guess the meanings. So when when I talk about a cross mile of a prairie, so crossing here means a prairie here is a place. I can't guess that. It's a place that, uh, or we where we can cross. Okay. When we discuss about lassoed, so lassoed, you have the word rope here just to guess the meaning of catching and and here you have the verb caught and caught a whole like herd of cattle with a single toss of his rope so rope and lassoed this is a word may this may explain the meaning okay and make it like more clear so when you think about lassoed and rope that means catching by using the rope and this is called like lassoed when you think about river bed so he drank a river what's uh, uh, like remaining of this river only the river bed the place of the river itself so when we think about this meaning or about uh, or about guessing the meaning of this word for example river bed when i think about ranking the river so what is there of the river so what remains here like is the river bed the place bargain when we think about bargain so he struck a bargain with the sky that means make, make like a promise or made a promise here with the sky and what that a promise favor as this favor so that means ask for something to do with something like um, makes me smile okay makes me happy so this is called like favor when we think about if offended so not done now don't be offended so right now don't be like angry or don't be uh, like um, anxious about that so when we think about guessing the meaning so we have to know about the mountain and 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 and, and to know about this word shriek so shriek and screamed you have a synonym word for the word shriek shriek means screamed so guessing the meanings here according to the short story which we have it today so may help us to know how to guess the meanings how to get out the meanings by ourselves without using the dictionary some context clues here you have it in this page just to help you to know and to guess the meaning of the new vocabularies so before before knowing about the new the, the new vocabularies guys or the meanings immediately of the new vocabularies, you have to read this page in any selection. When you get this page, you have to read it. You have to try by yourself the meaning of this word. Yes, I can guess it, but with the previous part, for example, with the next part, so could across across the prairie. So that means the prairie here is a place that we can cross it. Looks right the route or the road. When we think about lassoed, so we have the rope. So that means it's catching because we have the verb caught. So riverbed, when we think about the river, so we have drank the, the whole river water. So that means riverbed here is the place which, or where remains of the river. When we think about bargain, so this is a promise he made with the sky, okay? And unlike that, understand. So you have to understand the way of guessing the meanings and how can I get a context clue may help me to understand the meanings of the new vocabularies. This is important. Okay. Next, vocabulary sign. So we have to know right now about the 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 like uh, the specific or particular meanings of the new vocabularies. This is important right now. So after guessing the meanings by ourselves, so let's know that's correct or not, that's right or not. So let's see that. You have these words, guys, today. Okay, bargain, favor, lawsuit, offended, prairie, riverbed, and shrieked. So right now, let's discuss in detail bargain. This word actually is a noun. You know, guys, knowing about the parts of the speech of the word and the, the, the word here, which part of the speech is it, this is important. Why? Because I can decide this word or I can decide the position of the word in the sentence. If you want to write a sentence by using this word, 
So you can decide, how can I decide the position of the word, the place, according to its part of speech, which part of speech is it? So bargain is a noun, so that means I can start the sentence with, okay? Bargain is important in our life, like that. Bargain or, so, so like that. Keeping our bargains is important in our life. Understand, so this is like important to know the part of speech for the word. It's noun, it's a verb, it's adjective, it's adverb, it's a preposition, it's what? You have to know that, okay? So, bargain, what does it mean? Pay your attention for the pronunciation, guys, because I'll ask you to um, practice that by yourself. So pay your attention and listen to my pronunciation for the word. Bargain, it's a bargain bargain so bargain is a noun it means an agreement to trade or exchange a good deal when you make a deal with with somebody okay this is a deal that means you agree to do this together okay and you do not or you must not like break this deal anymore you have to do it okay because like it's it's important okay this is um uh, like describes your personality and 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 how uh, uh, you are like a good man and uh, you keep your promises and like that okay so bargain is a noun it means an agreement to trade or exchange a good deal a good deal next word favor favor it's noun too favor so favor an act of kindness an act of kindness, to be kind with the others, favor, favor. Next word, lessoed, lessoed. By using the rope and do this action, so use a long rope with a loop, okay? Loop means ring, like that one. Loop at the end to catch an animal. This word is verb. This word is verb, not a noun, so lessoed. Use a long rope with a loop at the end to catch an animal. Lessoed. Next word is offended. Offended. It's a verb. Okay. Offended means upset. Means upset. Don't be upset. Don't be. Uh, don't be like disappointed. So hurt someone's feelings. Don't be angry like that. So hurt someone's feelings. Cool like upset. So offended, you can describe this meaning, hurt someone's feelings, or you can say upset, offended, okay? So when you say, that's really upsets me, that means that's really offended me, okay? Makes me upset, so offended. Prairie, prairie. Prairie is noun, noun. And it means a large area, okay? As we discovered before, yes, the prairie here is an area. It's a place that we can cross. So a large area of level or rolling land with the grass, but few or not trees. So prairie, prairie is a noun. Prairie, the word the prairie is a noun, guys. And it means a large area of level or rolling land with the grass, but few or not trees. The next word is riverbed. As we discuss about this word, it's a noun. And it means the channel or bed in which a river flows. Yes, the, um, the place which the river or the channel which the river flows. So riverbed, riverbed. The word river and the word bed looks like the bed which you uh, like lay on. So, or lay down. So, riverbed, it's a noun, the channel or bed in which a river flows. Okay. Next word, and the last one, shrieked, it's a verb. This word is a verb, shrieked. And it means to make a loud, sharp, shrill sound, to scream. It means a shrieked. So, I shrieked today because my finger hurt. So, I say that, I shrieked. I shriek today because my finger hurts. So that means shriek is a verb to make a loud, sharp, shrill sound. Shriek. Okay. So right now, let's practice 
the pronunciation of the words and the meanings together, guys. So pay your attention. Let's see that. Raise your hands. Okay. Qais firas. Allah qais. Yes, Mr. Okay, Qais. Pronounce the words. You uh, bar. No, no. Uh, bargain. Bargain. Yes. An agreement to trade or exchange a good deal. Uh -huh. This word. Favor. Mm -hmm. An act of kindness. Mm -hmm. Lawsuit. 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 Yes. Use a long robe with a blue robe, not hat. robe. It's robe. Robe. Use robe. a long robe. Yes. Robe with a loop at the end to mm -hmm. catch an animal. Good. Next word. Offended. Offended. Here's okay. someone feeling up opposite. Mm -hmm. Prairie. Prairie, uh, not prairie. It's a prairie. Prairie. Yes. A large area of level or rolling uh, uh, land with grass, but few or no trees. Mm -hmm. Next word. Rivet. River bed. River bed. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The the canal the canal or bed channel, not canal. Channel or yes. bed in with which a river flows. Uh -huh. Shrieked. Shrieked. This is long Shrieked. e. Shrieked. Shrieked. Yes. To make a loud, sharp, shrill sound. Yes. Okay, you're good, yeah, guys. Ali, Amir, Allah, Ali. Yes, master. Okay, Ali, pronounce the words. Virgin. Mm. Favor. Lesser. No, 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 just a second. Pronounce the word and say its meaning. Virgin. An agreement bargain, not Again, pronounce Bar it. Bargain. An bargain. Agreement. This, this is, uh, listen up. This is a gas sound, not ja. Barg bargain. 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 Yes, it is. An agreement to trade or exchange. A uh -huh. good deal. Favor. An act of kindness. Let's you. Mm -hmm. Lesson. Again, pronounce lesson. it. Mm -hmm. Lesson. Use a long rope with a loop at the end to catch an animal. Offended. Mm -hmm. Hurt someone. Feeling. Mm -hmm. Opposite. Mm -hmm. Dreary. A large area of level or rolling land with grass, but you or no tree. Mm -hmm. River bed. The mm -hmm. channel or bed in which a river flows. Mm -hmm. Shriek to mm -hmm. make a low sharp shrill sound. Okay. Okay. Um, Fahad. Fahad Naif. Fahad Naif, hello. No answer. Abdul Aziz Qadri. Abdul Aziz. Yes, Mr. Okay, Abdul Aziz, go ahead. Bargain, an agreement to trade or exchange. A good mm -hmm. deal. Favor, mm -hmm. act of kindness. Mm -hmm. Last, use a long rope with a loop at the end to catch an animal. Mm -hmm. Offended. 
heard someone feeling absent. Rain, a large area of level or rolling land with grass but full or not or not or no trees. Uh -huh. with the channel or bridge in which a river flows. Three uh -huh. to make a loud, sharp, shrill sound. Excellent Azuz. Thanks. Okay, Sati Ali. Hello, Sati. Hello. Pronounce. Bargain. An agreement to trade or exchange a good deal. Favor. Mm -hmm. An act of kindness. Lasso. Used a long crop with a lobe at the end to catch an animal. Mm -hmm. Offended. Hurt someone feels upset. Pray. Mm -hmm. Prairie. Prairie, not the prairie. It's a prairie. Prairie. Mm -hmm. A large area of level or rolling lands with grass but few or no trees. Mm -hmm. River bed. Mm -hmm. The channel or bed in which a river flows. Mm -hmm. it. Shrieked, not shrieked. 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 Wow. shrieked. Mm -hmm. To make a loud, sharp shell sounds. Okay, very good, yes, Sati. Thanks. Halim al Fadl. Allah Halim. Yes, sister. Okay, pronounce, say the meanings. Bargain and mm -hmm. agreement, mm -hmm. trade or exchange. How to exchange mm -hmm. a good deal. Mm -hmm. Favor an act of, of kindness. Lousy. Mm -hmm. Use a long rope. Lasso. Use a long rope with a loop at the end to catch an animal. Mm -hmm. Of that hurt mm -hmm. someone is feeling upset. Mm -hmm. A large area of mm -hmm. level or rolling land with grass, but few or no tree. Mm -hmm. River bed, the channel or bed in which a river flows. Mm -hmm. Shriek it. To make a, shriek to make a loud, sharp, chill sound. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so let me tell you something right now. Anybody, anybody has finished pronouncing the words. Take this some time just or use this some time just to write a sentence by using these words. Anybody has finished pronouncing with me. Anybody has finished for the, uh, those who have finished pronouncing with me the words. Write a sentence by using these words and send it through the WhatsApp group for BA classwork and homework right now, right away, okay? Right now. So use these words and try to write a sentence by using each word and send it through the WhatsApp group for who has finished reading. So once you finish pronouncing the words, use the time or take your time and write a sentence and send it through the WhatsApp group. Please hurry up. Uh, Mohammed al Nifai. Yes, Mr. Pronounce the words, Muhammad. Bargain. An agreement to trade or exchange a good deal. Favor an act of kindness. Lasso. Use the long rope with a loop that end to catch an animal. Offended. Mm -hmm. Someone's feeling upset. Mm -hmm. Rari. A large area of level or rolling land with grass but few or no trees. Mm -hmm. River bed, the channel or bed in which a river floats. Mm -hmm. Shriek, to mm -hmm. make a loud or shrill sound. Okay, 
Okay, so write your own sentences, Yeah, Muhammad. Okay, and send it through the WhatsApp group right now. Okay. Okay, Muhammad. Okay. Okay. Karim Islam. Look, Karim. Karim. Karim Islam. No answer. Muhammad Muawiya. Muhammad Muawiya. Okay. Pronounce the words. Word. Mm -hmm. An agreement to trade or ex exchange mm -hmm. a good deal. Deal. Power. Deal. Favor. Favor, not favor. 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 Mm -hmm. An act of kind, kindness. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Use it along mm -hmm. with a lot at the end to catch it an animal mm -hmm. open it mm -hmm. Try someone feeling also upset mm -hmm. a large area of level all rolling mm -hmm. land is the Grasses, but we all know who. Shrieked. Shrieked. Again, pronounce it. Shrieked. Yes. Shrieked. Mm. Do not allow trailer trail down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, Muhammad. Now write your own sentences, yeah, Muhammad. Send it through the WhatsApp, okay? Okay? Okay, okay good. Yeah. Khalid Sultan. Allah Khalid. Khalid. Okay, Khalid. Pronounce the words. Mr. Pray and bargain, 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 mm -hmm. and agreement mm -hmm. to thread mm -hmm. or. Exchange. Okay. Next word. Good. Deal. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. Next word. Favor. 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 On, favor on uh, act of kinds. Mm -hmm. Next word. Lost. Lost. Used a 
long. Rob. Mm. With a mm. lob loop. What loop at the in to catch mm -hmm. an animal. Okay, next word. Uh, offend. Offended. Offended. Mm -hmm. Hurt some mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. playing. As pray, pray, mm -hmm. allow, allow, uh, of area of. Level or flooring mm -hmm. mm -hmm. land with gr grass, mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. Or on trees, river, 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 bed, river, bed, river, bed, mm -hmm. river, and watch a river flow shrink to make Oh, Lord, Cha, share, share, sound. Okay, very good, Khalid. Write your own sentences, Khalid. Okay. Okay. Malal Hausawi. Malal, hello. Yeah, Mister. Pronounce it, Malal. Bargain, an agreement to trade or exchange a good deal. Favor, an act of kindness. Mm. Lasod, used a long rope with a rope at the end to catch an animal. Mm. Offended, hurt someone. Feelings, feelings, upset. Mm -hmm. Feelings, upset. Mm -hmm. Prayer, mm -hmm. a large area of level or rolling land mm -hmm. 
with grass but few or no trees. River bed, river bed. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the channel, the channel or bed in which a river flows. Mm -hmm. Shrek it to make a loud trap trail sound. Okay, very good. Write your own sentences, Ya Talal. Okay, use these words to write a sentence. Okay. Okay, so uh, so one more thing, guys, to know. Okay, the word bargain is a noun. Again, I'll say that because you are writing a sentence, so you have to know the part of the speech for the word. Bargain is a noun. Favor is a noun. So any any word that has ed at the end, this is like verb. Okay. Any word ends in a ed, so this is a verb. Lassoed is a verb. Offended is a verb. Prairie is a noun. Riverbed is a noun. Shrieked is a verb. So you ask me why, Mister? Just you, you are telling us about the parts of a speech for the words. That means I tell you about the subject and the predicate. So bargain, I can use it as a subject. Favor is a subject. Lassoed is a predicate verb. Offended is a predicate. Prairie is a subject. Riverbed is a subject. Shrieked is a verb predicate. So understand that. That means some words we can use them subjects and others will be like predicates. Okay? You must understand this. Hamoud Fahad. Hello, ya Hamoud. Pronounce the words, ya Hamoud. Bargain. Bargain, not a bargain. Again, pronounce it. Bargain. Mm -hmm. An agreement to trade or exchange a good deal, verb mm -hmm. or an act of kind kindness. Mm -hmm. Loss it. Use a dialogue. Lessoed. Again, pronounce it. Lessoed. Lessoed. Use a long rope with a loop at the end. Or a loop, to catch not a an animal. Mm -hmm. Next what? word, okay. A loop. This is you pronounce it. Loo. Ooh, sound. A loo. Okay. Yes. Mm. Offended. Hurt someone's feelings. Upset. Mm. Prairie. A large. Prairie, prairie. not prairie. Again, pronounce it. Prairie. 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 Mm. A large area of level or rolling land with grass, but a few or no trees. River mm. bread. River bed, mm -hmm. the, the channel or bed in which a river flows. Mm -hmm. Sh shake it. Shrieked. Make a loud shrieked. Shriek. Shriek. Mm -hmm. To make a loud, sharp, shrill sound. Okay, very good, Ahmed. Write your own sentences, Ahmed, okay? Send it through the WhatsApp group. Uh, homework. Homework. If you can write them right now, okay, never mind. Okay, so write as much as you can right now, as much as possible, write it. You can write a sentence oh, by using a word oh, or two words. Yes, the seven words. Okay, you have seven words. So each word, uh, write a sentence. Okay, make a sentence by each word. Okay, Hamad, very good. Yasin Nadal. Hello, Yasin. Yes, Mr. Pronounce the words. Bargain mm -hmm. and agreement to mm -hmm. trade or mm -hmm. exchange. Exchange. exchange a good deal. Mm -hmm. Favor. Favor. And favor. Mm -hmm. And act of kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said I'll use mm -hmm. a long mm -hmm. job with a lob at the end to catch an animal. Mm -hmm. Offend. Offended. Offended. Mm -hmm. Hard so, some mm -hmm. some months mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. upset. Mm -hmm. 
Bajaj Prairie. Prairie. Uh-huh. A large area of body, yeah, of level or dwelling land, mm-hmm. land mm-hmm. with the grass, but you mm-hmm. or no tree. Mm-hmm. Riverbed. Riverbed. Again, for nothing. Riverbed. <laughs> or bed in which? Or bed in which? Are there river flow? Mm-hmm. To make a loud sharp, shrill sound. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good, Yasin. Write your own sentences, Yasin. Don't forget, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so let me send you this page through the WhatsApp group just to know the meanings, the new vocabularies that may help you to write your own sentence okay so just a second so this duty you can do it any time you wish guys any time you wish if you want to do it right now send it if you want to do it at the end of the week no problem because I know that you have um, quizzes and you have to study and like that so as much as you can so if you want to write uh, if you want to send it right now it's up to you if you want to send it after that it's up, uh, up to you too okay so right now let's open page 75 in our readers the writers and book guys page 75 okay open it and your Readers or items in the book, page 75. Page 75. So guys, I'll give you around three minutes, three minutes to think about the answers of this page. Already, I, um, I've sent you the uh, meanings of the words through the WhatsApp group, so you can get the meanings there, okay, to help you to answer this page, this page about the vocabularies of today. This page is about the vocabularies of today, uh, which we have pronounced right away, okay? So, so you have three minutes, three minutes. Think about this page. Once you finish answering the page and solving it, just raise your hands again. So I'll lower all of your hands. Okay, I'll lower all of your hands down. Once you finish this page, raise your hands again. Once you finish answering the page, raise your hands. So page 75, page 75. You have three minutes to answer this page. Three minutes.
Okay, so anybody has finished solving the page, raise the hand. Anybody has finished solving this page, 75, raise your hand. One minute is left. Anybody has finished solving this page, just raise the hand. So easy. Abdelaziz Qadri, I think, has sent his own sentences through the WhatsApp. Excellent, Abdelaziz. Okay, so let's finish that, then I'll discuss it with you. Okay. Let me start with Qais. Hello, yeah, Qais. Okay, read the head of the question, Qais. And match number one. Directly okay. draw a line to connect each word on the left with its definition on the right. Okay, number one. River bed. Mm -hmm. A channel in which a river flows or used to flow. Okay, very good. Yeah, guys, excellent. So, river bed here is a channel in which a river flows or used to flow. Very good. Muhammad al Nafai. Match number two. Yes, Mr. Match number yes. two. Favor. Mm -hmm. Act of kindness. Excellent. Favor is an act of kindness. Favor, number two, matches with act of kindness as it is its meaning. Abdulaziz Qadri. Very, a large area of level or rolling land with grass, but few or no trees. Excellent, Azuz. So, prairie is a large area of level or rolling land with a grass, but few or no trees. Karim Hassan, match number four. Karim. No answer. Hello, Karim Hassan. Your mic is opened, but no sound is there. Fix your mic. Tamir Jabari. Hello, Tamir. Mister. Tamir. Mister, I am Karim. Okay, just Mister. wait a second, Karim. Close your mic. Tamir Jabari, uh, match number four. Tamir, hello. Your mic is opened. Yeah, mister. Okay, so number four. Match number four. Less and? Mm -hmm. Rope and? Mm -hmm. Coach? Mm -hmm. With the air? Mm -hmm. Less on? Okay, very good, Tamir. So, less out matches with robed caught with the lasso. Okay, Karim Hassan, match number five. Yes, mister. Match number five. Bargain, mm -hmm. an agreement to trade deal. Okay, excellent. An agreement to trade or deal, very good. Uh, Azuddin al-Tahan, 
allow you guys read the head of the question as. Yes, Mr. Read the head of the question. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hurry up. Did I run? Draw a and Okay. No. Uh, do you know the answer of number six? What is the answer of this one? Have you answered that? No. No. So. Okay. No problem. Yasin. Yasin Nadal. Yes, Mister. Read the head of the question first of all. Did the statement do the first buyer of words? Had a cadet thing? Certain. The same mm. relationship. Mm -hmm. Such as there's some same. Meaning, same meaning to complete the statement. Add mm -hmm. a word that gives the Second pair of words, the mm -hmm. sum relationship. Mm -hmm. As the fittest bear, for example, mm -hmm. need is to messy mm -hmm. opposite meaning. As happy is to said opposite meaning. opposite meaning choose choose the word to the left. Mm. Okay, number six, what is the answer? Love is mm -hmm. to cry as mm -hmm. wish word. Mm -hmm. Is to what? Uh, she, mm -hmm. she, Yes, very good. Shriek. Shriek. Yes, very good. Thanks, Yasin. Uh, many times I ask you guys to read the head of the question to understand the question is about what. So our question here is about the opposite meaning, the antonym of the word. So when I say happy, you say sad. For example, when I ask you about the opposite word, when I, uh, when I say neat, you say missy. When I say laughed, you say cried. So here, whispered is shrieked whispered in a low sound so you make you make a shriek in a high sound or a loud sound you ready abdullah number seven what is the answer al walid no answer khalid sultan number seven khalid Khalid Sultan. Yes, Mr. Number seven. Remember, mm -hmm. is to regal and angered is to huh. offended. Offended. Okay, excellent, Khalid. Thanks. Um, okay, Abdullah. Abdullah Mishal. Al Walid, Al Walid, Al Walid, uh, just a second, Abdullah. I opened your mic, Al Walid. I opened your mic. The time when I called your name, I opened your mic. Understand? So your mic is open right now. Al Walid Abdullah, hello. 
No answer. Sí. Yes, me, al Walid, Abdul Mahsin. Sentence eight. eight. Grass is too prairie. Okay, good. Thanks. Uh, Abdullah, Mishal, Allah, Abdullah, sentence nine. Nine. Okay. Training. Mm. To talk a mm -hmm. river is to mm -hmm. pray. Again, speak up. River is to uh, what? River is to uh, river is to the answer is favor. Answer is favor. How is it? The river is to what? So easy. This is the easiest one. Okay, guys, for us. Number nine, Qais. River is to what? Riverbed. Excellent. River is to riverbed. Have the same word. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Muhammad al uh, Ten. Ten, ya Muhammad. The last one. Yes, Mr. The last one. Number ten. ten. Deal. Deal is to what? Disagreement is to fight and... Deal is to bargain. Excellent, bargain. So you have to think about these words, guys. Whispered, okay, whispered. It's too shrieked. Angered, okay. So let's see uh, here in the answers. Okay, angered is too offended. Grass is too prairie. River is too riverbed. Fight, uh, so, uh, sorry, deal. Deal is to bargain. Okay, so the word and its opposite. The word and its opposite meaning. So I'll send you the answers of this page through the WhatsApp group. Okay, now it's time. Okay, Abdul Aziz Qadri. Hello, ya Azuz. Yes, Mister. Okay, is that your task which you've sent it through the WhatsApp group about the sentences? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Can you read sentence one? Okay, listen up, guys, please. Listen up. Okay, take your time. Okay, for the others, guys, um, copy the answers of this page, 75, okay? Yeah. Okay. One. No, uh, just sentence by sentence, so read one. One, I make a bargain with my grandfather. Okay, excellent. So I make a bargain. So bargain is a noun here. That means I make a deal. Or we can make it in the past. So you can say, I made a bargain. I made a bargain with my father or I make a bargain as a prison. Excellent. Sentence two. This child make a favor to her mom. Excellent. This child make a favor to her mom. So this favor here is a noun and it's correct for the using. Okay. Sentence three. My dad lassoed a horse. Excellent. My dad lassoed a horse as a past next verb. Okay, next one. This animal offended me. Excellent. This animal offended me. That, that means made me upset. Okay, made me upset. Okay, next one. I go to a large prairie. Okay, I go to a large prairie. Excellent. The next one. That bird sit on the river bed. Okay, that bird sits. If you talk about the prison, so you have to add S at the end of the verb. So that bird sits on the river bed. Okay, sits. Uh, okay, so... Um, okay, you mean sit here, that means uh, sitting down? Or like what? You mean, 
so, so set, set is I, it's I, T, S, okay, this bird or that bird sets on that verb bit. okay, the next one. I hear a shriek sound, sound at my home. Okay, but you have a mistake about this word shriek. The mistake here about the position of the word shriek is a verb here, not an adjective. But here you've made it like an adjective in the sentence. I hear a shriek sound. So shriek here is an adjective according to your sentence. Okay, but it's verb. Understand. So you can you can say like um, I heard or I hear him shrieked. I hear him shrieked without writing the word sound. Because sound here is a noun and makes the word which is previous as an adjective. So shriek sound. No, it's, 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 uh, it's wrong. Understand. So shriek yeah. is not an adjective, it's a verb. That's why I tell about the parts of the speech for the words. That's why I said the word shrieked is verb, offended is verb, riverbed is noun, bargain is a noun, and prairie is a noun, lassoed is verb. That's why uh, I've told about the parts of the speech of the words, just why to know the position of the word you, w w when you make a sentence. Okay, Azuz? Okay, okay excellent, Azuz. Thanks, Habib. Okay, guys, so right now, okay, we have some time. So right now, let's discuss about the, the story itself. So pay your attention. Okay. Okay, listen up and pay attention, guys. Uh, this is about, you know, the analysis of the story. Okay, who is the main character in the story? The main character is Reba Joe. Reba Joe is the main character of our story. What is the setting in the southwest on the riverbed? The setting of the story, that means the place of the story in the southwest on the riverbed. Okay. How did Riba Jao entertain herself? What was her like favorite pastime? Riba Jao liked to ride her horse, play her guitar, and sing. Her favorite thing was to lasso everything. If her father warned her to stay away from the riverbed. So just a second, let me make zoom in. Okay. Okay, if her father warned her to stay away from the riverbed, why didn't she turn back? Because she saw a vulture on top of a well and she wanted to lasso him. Why was Riba Joe peering down the the well because her new hat below away and fell down the well. Who does Riba Joe meet after her hat blows away? She met a horn Todd. What did she want to get back her hat so badly? Because her father would know where she had been. Why did the Todd propose the proposes here mean surprised to Riba Joe? Did she keep her in of the deal. So he proposed to get her hat in return for three favors. And about this question, did she um, keep her end of the deal? No, she didn't. How is Riba Joe's father different from her? He is an honest person who keeps his promises with the others. Next page. Okay, so man. What did the other favor did the Todd ask of Riba Joe? What happened then? He asked for a kiss. She agreed to kiss if he left right away. She kissed them and the Todd turned into a prince. 
how did Reba Jo change at the end of the story? At the beginning, she didn't like the Todd, but when he turned into a prince, she wanted to marry him. What lessons does Reba Jo learn at the end of the story? And this is the theme of the story, guys. When I ask you what is the theme of our story, what is the value of our story, so you have to say that you should keep your promises. You shouldn't judge by appearances. You should keep your promises with the others. You shouldn't judge on the people by appearances, by the first appearance. Okay, you have to wait. You have to know this per person very well. You have to discover the uh, uh, characteristic uh, traits of this person, and then you can decide or judge. Bargain. And we discussed about the meanings of these words. An agreement to trade or exchange deal. Favor means act of kindness. Okay. Uh, next page. Lassoed. Um, roped, caught with a long rope with a loop on the end, offended, hurt the feelings of someone, made angry means prairie, large area of level, or rolling land with the grass, but few or no trees, riverbed channel in which river flaws or used to flaw, shrieked, made a loud, sharp, shrill sound. Um, other questions. What does the author mean when he said that river Joe would be in a peck of a trouble? What does it mean? A great deal, a pick of a trouble means a great deal of a trouble because her father warned her not to go near the riverbed or arroyos. What was the best lesson that Reba Joe probably learned during the story? Always keep your promises. Always keep your promises. Why did Reba Joe agree to do three favors for the Todd? Because the horned Todd went down in the old well and fetched her sombrero or the hat this is sombrero in, in Spain, Spanish word. And she didn't want her father to know she lost it and where she had been. Okay, um, next page. What three favors did Reba Joe agree to do for the horn Todd? First of all, feed him so ch uh, some chili, not so this some, this is about type of mistake, feed him some chili play her guitar or guitar, take a nap or siesta and have sombrero. So siesta or sombrero here, like Spanish words, guys. So siesta means take a nap and sombrero means a hat. What three favors did Reba Joe agree to do for the horn Todd? We discussed about that and this is the last one of them, a kiss, to give him a kiss. Okay, uh, so Reba Joe wanted to kiss the horn Todd this is false. Reba Jo agreed to three favors with the horn Todd, Chelly and Song and an app and her hat. This is true. Reba Jo made a deal with the horn Todd. This is true. Reba Jo's daddy warned her to stay away from riverbeds. This is true. Reba Jo's daddy warned her to stay away from riverbeds. It's the same and it's true. Okay, more about that. Reba Joe's horse was named Flash. This is true. This is the name of the Reba Joe's horse, guys. Flash. Okay. It was named Flash. Okay. Reba Joe made a deal with the horned Todd, and once he pitched her hat, she snatched it away from the Todd and galloped home. This is true. Okay. So we have some other pages, guys, but time isn't enough for all of that. So in the next uh, periods or uh, and the next stage we can discuss about this in details inshallah okay guys so time is up for this session see you have a nice day goodbye everyone